Welcome back to The Art Chick. In today's lesson, we will focus on drawing basic human figures, both still and in motion. When asking individuals the number one art subject they wanted to learn, it was always people. Why? Probably because it's the hardest subject in art. Drawing people can be very unforgiving. If you are even slightly off, then your final drawing or painting may not look like the human subject you used. So for that reason, I thought it would be fitting that one of our first lessons is just that, drawing people. Now what about this guy? You see these everywhere, right? Most people probably don't even know what they are for. Well, this is one of the greatest tools an artist can have when drawing a human being. As you can see, it is broken up into many shapes and segments proportional to that of the actual human body, making it much easier to draw a figure. I also love that you can pose the figure in different positions so that you can draw people in action, such as running, dancing, jumping, stretching, etc. We will be using this art mannequin in our drawing practice today. The supplies you will need are a wood mannequin, a sketchbook, and an HB pencil. Begin by shaping your mannequin into a position that you want to draw. Start with a stick figure. Begin with the head and then work your way down toward the rest of the body. Add a square for the hips. That will help you identify where the legs need to go. For all of the joints, be sure to add circles. Watch what happens as I begin to draw the basic shapes. Be sure to taper the arms and the legs as you get closer to the joints. As you are drawing, think of it as a dot to dot only with parallel lines. Notice all of the curving I drew to accentuate the form of the arms and the legs. Time for another one. Let's do an action shot now. I'm going to have my guy look like he's running. A 
Again, start simple with your stick figure, but this time you will show motion. Because my guy is sideways, I'm going to slant the shoulder line upward to show foreshortening in the upper body. Try drawing at least five of these per day to get extra practice in your sketchbook. Again, remember the dot-to-dot -dot concept. My guy seems as though he might be running off to battle with this awesome background music. Bond, James Bond. If you see something out of proportion, don't stress, just take your eraser and fix that area. I use basic shapes for nearly everything that I draw. It definitely makes things easier. Okay, let's speed things up a little, shall we? Don't forget to subscribe.